The drivers had been told to expect lengthy delays. It's not too bad at the moment. It seems that most people had been trying to really rush over uh, before a six o'clock deadline. Around one o'clock this morning here in Queensland, those hard barricades went back up mere weeks after we saw them be taken down. And drivers were told that they around six o'clock that would be back in place. Of course, now anyone who has been in a hot spot, which is 35 local government areas around Greater Sydney and of course the Northern Beaches, are told that if they do come into Queensland as of now, they are going to have to go into two weeks hotel quarantine at their own expense. As for the others, they need to have a border pass form uh, declared and filled out, which is the bulk of the cars behind me coming through. Now, this hard border is really going back into place, of course, to keep uh, cases from coming into Queensland, but also because people were doing the wrong thing. Close to 100 people were apparently lying on their border forms, which is why the Queensland government has really moved uh, to shut these down. Now, it is likely they're going to stay uh, in place for some time. Queensland's health minister said it's not going to be reviewed before January 8 and it is likely that the Queensland government will then need to see 28 days of no unlinked of, of no unlinked cases to the Northern Beaches cluster before they'll look at revising these borders. So of course not great news for anyone hoping to see family and friends for Christmas. It's also not good news for tourism operators. They say they could take around a $250 million hit as a result of these border closures, potentially missing out on the Christmas holidays and also down the track as well, they say, because of how uncertain these borders are, it could really impact Queensland's tourism industry long term.